your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest Morning makers, cheers, happy Wednesday and happy July 1st. I hope you all are doing well. I am doing well. I've been up for a little while and I'm getting ready here in about 10 minutes to hop on the Wednesday Stitch and Chat with the Patreon peeps, uh, Patreon members. We do a lovely Zoom Stitch and Chat on Wednesdays and Saturdays. It's been a lovely tradition that's been started here in the midst of quarantine and I look forward to it every week and I've already gotten kind of organized for the day ahead. I have a lot that I want to do that I was kind of listing <laughs> yesterday. I have a tall Sorry order. about that. I got a surprise call from my sweet nephew who wanted to show me his new BB-8 robot toy. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited to see him this weekend. We're gonna watch Star Wars and have so much fun. Anyway, as I was saying today, I have a tall order of things I wanna do because it's the last day of daily vlogs, at least for some time, probably definitely, we'll start it probably definitely we'll definitely start up again in October for vlogtober and I'm moving to weekly vlogs which I'm really excited about starting on Sunday July 12th so I'm really looking forward to it but yeah today today's agenda we'll see how much happens because you know you always have to go with the flow with life but I'm gonna do a little bit of gardening. So I was just watching one of my favorite uh, YouTubers who does gardening, uh, Homegrown Garden. Um, I'll put her information down here and in the down bar below in the description box. And um, I'm gonna plant some dill. I'm going to, I think just water, check in on all my little guys that are already growing here. I might take out the rosemary I'm on the fence because it hasn't grown at all and I think at this point the seeds were dead so I might um, grow something else in there we'll see um, and I'm gonna move my Pelia to a larger pot finally and I have like an empty little pot over there too so we'll see what what seeds I have and then I have those two new little kits daisies and English lavender so yeah, I'm really excited to do that later. I'm gonna finish up uh, some of the bags so I can show you. And I think it's set to be delivered today. The additional fabric that I had just ordered in the nick of time after my initial order was canceled of Alexander Henry in the reef fabric. I can't wait to show you guys. I hope it happens today. If not, I will definitely put it here on the community tab and on Instagram. And um, yeah, much more. I've got three minutes, so I'm gonna hop on that stitch and chat and I will check in with you all later. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies ain't too gray, we're gonna
I don't mean to toot my own horn, but these bags are turning out so much cuter than I thought they would. <laughs> They're so cute. So I finished the first round and I thought I would show you. These will be in the shop on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific. So Friday, July 3rd at 10 a.m. Pacific. I feel like a broadcaster. But here is the sweater size bag. I'm gonna have to keep one of these for myself. I can't decide if I want this one or the drawstring. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's got a handle, zippered with tabs, as usual. Beautiful cotton lining. I still need to do my uh, stamp. I need to fix my stamp. It um, isn't picking up all of the ink on the ink pad, so I've gotta do some surgery there uh, before I stamp the rest of the bags. They're all in like various stages of construction right now. <laughs> um, and oh my gosh, I love it. So there's no interfacing in these bags, which I mentioned before, because it's been hard to find the interfacing that I need and the quantity that I need it. Um, so I, instead, when I went to Joanne Fabrics a couple of weeks ago, they had outdoor fabric, which is what this is. This is really thick, kind of linen cotton blend fabric. I'm sure there might be unfortunately some polyester in there too. I have to look up the makeup um, for the product pages, but it's super durable and it's just a little bit lighter, a little bit more, not flimsy is the worst word I could say when I'm trying to show you these, but <laughs> a little bit more malleable of a bag. But when you have it full of your yarn and your project, I think it's perfect and fine. I have a lot of bags actually that don't have interfacing. They have a really thin interfacing. So this feels a lot like those. And oh my gosh, I love it so much. So that's the sweater size. Fits, it's great for like your blankets and everything if you're working on like a baby blanket or something. And then we've got the maker's briefcase. I love it so much. Again, no interfacing. So it's it, it feels pretty comparable to the other ones actually because of the size of it just like the sweater size bag it you know can fold really easily but it'll fit an 11 by 11 uh, cue snap or your larger projects or you could put a whole bunch of projects in getting interrupted so much sorry about that that was a telemarketer anyway as usual with the maker's briefcase design there is a pocket inside and I'll show you a close up right here. So there's a side for the scissors and then a side for like floss card or all of your floss and a D ring where you can attach your scissors or with a scissors fob or um, like a, another ring of floss to the D ring right here. I'll try to show you, it's always so awkward. So here's the larger side and then the side for your scissors tabbed, zippered, handled. <laughs> and then last but not least is the drawstring bag. I think I'm gonna keep one of these for myself. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. So again, no interfacing, but it has, it stands up really well on its own because of the outdoor fabric. The outer fabric is really, dense and and tough and beautiful i mean if i had an outdoor patio i would definitely do my cushions in this fabric i love it so much cotton inside again 100 percent cotton um twill tape for the drawstring and there you go so happy with how these turned out and they're so bright and fun for summer and i kind of like the lighter weight bags. It's, it's, I'm on the hunt for new interfacing. I like the cushy bags that I've made for, I can't believe I'm coming up on two years for the shop being open, which is crazy. Um, but I'm on the hunt for a, a, a thinner, um, a thinner interfacing. So if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. I know a few of you made some suggestions a while back and I need to go back and look those up, but 
Yay! So again, these will be in the shop on Friday and then hopefully today at some point, it's supposed to be here, the other fabric. Um, and I will show you that. And if I'm able to make some sample bags to photograph and get it all cut out, I'll put those up for pre-order um, on Friday as well. So stay tuned to Instagram and um, all of the places for more details on what's going on there. These will be ready to ship on Tuesday when I'm back in town. So, okay, now back to work. <laughs> Elevator Confessions. It's been a while since I've done that. <laughs> if you're a long time Vlogmas viewer, you know I do that all the time. But I am heading down for a walk before I eat some lunch. Let's go. A little awkward, one-handed. so good to be out and about. I haven't been out a lot for a variety of reasons. Partially because everything's kind of dried up and died. <laughs> but also more people are out and about. So it makes me feel a little anxious to be out. Most people are driving though. But it's hard to believe what I just showed you was a pond when I started uh, doing daily vlogs here. And now it's been dried up for some time. It comes and goes. There's a larger pond down the road further. But yeah, it's lovely to be out. The trees are like totally full now. They were just blooming. It's amazing all the changes that happen in four months, isn't it? Anyway, my melancholy tushy is gonna get back and make a yummy salad for lunch. Let's do this. Here's the before shot. <laughs> and let's get to work. soil is looking a little moldy. I'm just going to water. I might scrape the top off and then just put some more soil in there maybe. The basil is doing okay. It just needs a drink of water right now and I need to pick off the little yellow leaves. It's from the stems where I'd taken 
the bigger bits of basil and but it's still growing because there's more growing on the bottom so and then this is the rosemary that never became anything <laughs> so i'm going to throw this soil out and plant something else but first i need to water these babies my little lettuce is doing really well could probably take off the training wheel I tried to take it off a while ago, but it drooped again. But that was before like two of these leaves showed. So proud of it. And then my strawberry is going like gangbusters right now. So exciting. Little guy was a moss rose that never became. It sprouted and then they died, I think. The packet, the seed packet said to keep it out of direct sunlight. Um, so I had it living over here by my TV, uh, but I think it needed direct sunlight. And some of you all lovely folks, let me know of that too. I have, I think some more seeds. So I'm gonna put in some new soil and plant some new ones. get these more into the center because I noticed I was really on the outside last time. <laughs> okay, I think that's plenty. Probably still too much, but pretty good. I'll save this for next time. Okay, okay and then put, I think just put a little bit more soil on top. A little bit of soil on top. I'm sure if I am doing this wrong, you all will let me know. <laughs> and I have plenty of seeds I could start again if need be, but making sure not to pack it down. There we go. I give it a little water. Yay! Okay, where'd my other one go? Here's the long departed cilantro. I got a good sauce out of what I grew, but I'm going to grow something else. Let me go look at all my seeds. Ooh, it got crazy here. I wish I could find some tarragon because I'm finding more and more dishes that I want to make that have tarragon and it's actually quite hard to find it in the store. So let me see, where did I put all my seeds? Got that I put them in my Nespresso drawer. <laughs> All right, so I've got more romaine lettuce, not gonna do that. More cilantro, don't wanna do that now. Let's see what else do I got? Red leaf lettuce, butter lettuce, no. I want the moss seeds, where did those go? Is it? Yes. We're gonna do you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold off on doing this little bucket. I'll throw out the soil for now, but I'll have this little guy and I'll have this little tiny, remember this little watering can. And I'm gonna hold off to see if I can get a rosemary plant uh, at the grocery store because sometimes they have herb plants that you can start from. Um, and I think maybe in this one, I'm gonna propagate some of my basil a uh, little stem thingies um, and start another one because I don't have any more seeds of those. Um, or I might, oh, I might actually get it for my sister because she has a really robust um, basil plant um, when I'm up there this weekend and see if I can get little seedlings. It'll be fun. So for now, I'm just gonna do moss rose in this one. Oh man, I've got some cleaning to do. There's so little. I don't 
don't know if you can see. Where's the thingy? It's so teeny tiny. <laughs> been what gave me the trouble in the first place. <laughs> Put a little bit of soil on top. Okay, give it a little water. forgot. I've got these two beauties next. because I'm not going to use the soil that I have. I'm going to use what was provided in the kit. And I'll see you on the other side. What the heck? What the heck? I don't need that lid. Okay, here we go. 
This is quite an engineering feat here. <laughs> but we're gonna put this, so I just see the beautiful canister right there. This is interesting. So it says, place planter in warm and sunny window, 55 to 75 degrees. So that's perfect for here. It's not sunny right now, but over six hours a day, it's sunny in this windowsill. Uh, until sprouts pop, touch the surface of the grow medium daily. And if it's not slightly damp, spray with a little water, don't oversaturate. So I'm, I'm glad I have my little mister thingy. Once sprouts develop, remove plant tray and pour out water tray, stack trays back as they were in planter. So just together. So you get rid of the Barbie table <laughs> and put them in there. And I guess the wick is there to help keep it hydrated. It's so interesting. Occasionally lift plant tray to determine if water tray needs a refill. If so, repeat 14, which says mix one cup of water and one eighth teaspoon of plant food, which I have a packet of, and pour through the plant tray carefully around sprouts. So what, that's once the sprouts develop. Okay. I'm gonna have to, you guys are gonna get a major update in, on July 12th when I, when I vlog again, oh my goodness, or have a vlog up again. Oh my gosh. Okay, one more to do, and then I'm already ready to make dinner because I'm ready, I'm ready to sit down for the evening. So now we're gonna do thank you daisies. Let's see if it's an equally exciting process. <laughs> Oops, similar situation. Let's speed this up. I hope some of these take. Oh, I'm so excited. I am going to wash my hands, drink some water, and then get started on that plum sauce. sauce is smelling so good. I can't wait. So it's going to reduce down or cook all of the plums and all of the goodness. And then once it's done and the plums have broken down, I will put it in the blender and then let it sit until I'm ready for dinner. Um, but I thought, oh, I have like 20 minutes to chill. I need to get to chopping all of the mushu veggie stuff. So back to the kitchen. <laughs> wait to have it with this dish.
that was a workout, but so worth the effort. I can't wait to dig into this. Worst folding job ever. It's about to get real messy, but delicious. pretty good it's nice bat wing <laughs> good evening makers it's only been about half an hour or so maybe about an hour since I ate my dinner I've been happily move you closer to me hold on much better. I've been happily knitting away and watching Critical Role the last episode before quarantine began. So this episode is back in March, like March 13th or something like that. And um, they are coming back tomorrow back on air. They redid their studio so they can do safe distance work. Um, and I'm so excited. If you haven't heard me talk about it and yammer on about them, they're a wonderful group of friends who are voice actors who play a Dungeons and Dragons game. And they've been streaming that game for about five years or now they're on their second game. And it's fabulous. It's fun to see friends having fun. And they're at amazing actors and improv artists. So it's just great storytelling. You get hooked into the story. It's fantastic knitting knitting time TV. It's awesome. But yeah, so I've been, I'm, I've gotten really far y'all <laughs> in a short amount of time. I think it's a mix of just really knowing the yarn, having already made a garment with it. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's a wider gauge or a bigger gauge. Um, so, oh, I'm just so excited. And, and it's using up a decent, like, it's, it's not gobbling up as much yarn as I expected it to, which is good. <laughs> um, so this is like a typical size, like full skein that I took off of the sweater. And this is what I have left after knitting all of this. So not too bad. I love it. I have all of the details about this project on my Ravelry page if you're able to see it um, or if you've turned it over to classic mode if you have trouble seeing it. Um, the links are down below. But yeah, and I never, I haven't gotten my deliveries yet. I got like one little fraction of it earlier today, but I'm still waiting on some stitch markers and that fun fish fabric. Uh, that I mentioned earlier or yesterday. I can't remember the days are blurring together <laughs> more than usual. <laughs> um, so hopefully it'll be here tomorrow. Just stay tuned to Instagram and um, I'll try to do a little post here on the community tab as well. But I think it's time to sign off for the evening, which is bittersweet today because it'll be my last vlog for some time daily vlog I should say and I will be back here every Sunday starting on July 12th I'm so looking forward to it I'm gonna miss you all each day but I'm really looking forward to this new kind of rhythm and I feel like I can share so many different things with you in this like longer format um, that I'm gonna be trying out so I can't wait so that's it for today. I hope you all are doing well. Please stop by over on Instagram and visit. I will be over there a little bit more now, stitching the high notes. And there's a link down below. And I am sending all my best to you. I hope you're well and staying safe. All my love and thank you all so much again for spending a little bit of your day each day over the last four months or so. <laughs> Hugs to you all. See you soon.